Hey folks, this is Matt Doyle, MLSsoccer.com's armchair analyst, and welcome to another edition of Between the Lines. This week we're going to take a look at the old return of the old-fashioned Chris Armas style DMID as we've seen in a couple of teams. This is a little different than the back point which we discussed a couple of weeks ago and that an old-fashioned DMID isn't expected to ignite the offense. He's there to protect the back line, to win the second ball and make simple effective passes that get his team out of harm's way. The advantage of playing with a pure DMID is that there will always be someone occupying the red zone, that area just in front of the central defense. With two hybrid central midfielders, as we see in Houston or Portland, that area can become exposed, leading to scoring opportunities. DC had that same problem, but now they're on a league-high seven-game unbeaten run, and it's all happened since Perry Kitchen came back from the U.S. Olympic team. Kitchen is one of those old-fashioned demons, and he reads the game like a veteran. He's expert at that most crucial trait, which is clogging up the opponent's attack, and he showed it against New York a couple of weeks back. He won the second ball nine times, and mostly he did it in the left central channel. That's right where Thierry Henry operates. It shows that he clearly knows where the danger is. But he also had time to register four clearances and a block cross in his own area, which means that he's not so focused on one threat that he's forgetting about the larger picture. That's discipline and simplicity in his game, and that's why DC are on such a great run right now. Up by 95, Kitchen's old DC United teammate Dax McCarty played as an emergency D-mid for New York this past weekend. He acquitted himself quite well, even though he's not as disciplined as Kitchen. He's more likely to try for the spectacular play instead of the defensively sound play, as we see here when Sire Sen baits him into playing a non-existent passing lane instead of closing down on the ball. McCarty is tagged as number five here. Overall, though, McCarty played really well and was a big reason why New York got their first shutout of the year. Simplifying the game works, especially for struggling teams, and we're seeing it now from Portland. John Spencer had Lavelle Palmer play D-mid this past weekend against Montreal, and though it didn't quite come off, the right idea was there, as DC and New York have both shown. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to tune in again next week as we take a look at another tactical key in MLS.